friends, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel and happy fall. It's officially fall. I could not be more excited. This is my favorite time of year. All our birthdays fall in October, almost all our birthdays. And it's just a really fun time of year as the holidays approach. And one of my favorite things about fall is it's the perfect time to pull out your slow cooker. So to commemorate the start of fall and celebrate with you all, I'm sharing a bunch of delicious slow cooker recipes. They're super easy, super delicious, and I know you're gonna love them. Before we jump into the video, I wanted to quickly introduce myself if you're new to my channel. My name's Brittany, and on my channel, I share grocery hauls, cooking content, and day in the life mom content. So if those are areas of interest to you, I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Hit the subscribe button below, and if you enjoyed today's video, give it a like. It really helps my channel a lot. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into today's recipes. I hope you all enjoy. First up, we're making this French onion chicken. This has quickly become one of my family's favorite slow cooker meals. It's super easy and super delicious. And don't be afraid of this dish. It does seem a little weird because you're adding beef broth to a chicken dish, but it is really, really good. So start off by greasing your slow cooker with some nonstick cooking spray. You definitely need to do this for this recipe because it does have a tendency to stick. You're gonna add your chicken breast, some salt, pepper, large yellow a large yellow onion sliced and then add in your rice you're also going to need a lipton onion soup mix and then you're going to add in your beef broth the original recipe did call for three cups i believe i was a little short on beef broth so i just added some water in lieu of that in addition to the beef broth that i had and then also you're going to want to add a can of campbell's french onion soup the soup in the can not the mix you're adding both basically so then once you've combined all your ingredients, you're just gonna stir that together and then you're gonna put the lid on. You can either cook it on low for five to six hours or you can cook it on high for two to three hours. In this video, I cooked mine on high for two to three hours and it turned out perfectly. Um, so then I do wanna mention, because this recipe tends to stick, I did go in there like one or two times to kind of mix it up as it was cooking just to make sure it didn't stick too much um, it really depends on your slow cooker my slow cooker has a tendency to cook pretty hot so this is something that I just like to keep an eye on when I'm making recipes I wouldn't say this is a recipe that you can necessarily just like put on go to work and come home and it's gonna be perfect so once it's cooked for two to three hours, you're gonna shred your chicken and then you're gonna add some cheese on top. At this point, everything's completely cooked. So you're just gonna add the cheese on and then you're gonna put the lid back on and you're gonna let it melt for a couple minutes. I did mine for about 15 minutes and it was melted perfectly. I like to do either provolone or mozzarella. I've done both and they're both really good. This is the finished product. And then for a little crunchy topping, we like to sprinkle on the crunchy French fried onions at the end and serve with a veggie. It is so good, guys. This is one of our favorite recipes. Next up, we're making these easy steak burritos. You can eat these as bowls or you can use this as filling for a burrito and eat them in a tortilla. You're gonna start off by greasing your slow cooker with some nonstick cooking spray, and then you're gonna season your steak with some salt and pepper. This is just a cheap steak that I picked up from Aldi. I always tend to go with cheaper cuts of meat and slow cooker recipes because usually it's getting shredded up and there's so much seasoning and it makes your meat so tender that it really doesn't matter what cut you're using. Some might argue with me, but I truly believe that it's completely fine to use whatever the cheapest cut is. Next up, we're adding some refried, refried beans. And essentially what you're doing is you're dumping all your burrito ingredients in the slow cooker and letting it do the work for you so you don't have to spend time assembling a burrito later on in the evening. Add in your salsa, and then I'm adding some taco seasoning. I'm using my homemade taco seasoning which I typically use between two to three tablespoons of that. And you of course can also just use a taco seasoning packet from your grocery store. And next up, you're gonna add in your liquid. I'm just adding water. If you had some type of broth, maybe beef broth or chicken broth in the fridge that you wanted to use up, you could definitely use that. But in this case, there's so much seasoning um, from the taco seasoning and the meat that you don't really necessarily need broth. You just need some type of liquid. So then you're gonna cook this on low for six hours. I also forgot to add in bell peppers. This isn't in the original recipe, but I just had them on hand in the freezer, so I wanted to use them up. Okay, I do wanna mention 
that if I were making this recipe again, I would change some things. And essentially after it's done cooking, like for six hours, the meat and peppers and everything, I would have been done and I would have cooked my rice on the side. Because what happened was I added my rice in and it didn't cook all the way through like the recipe originally said it would. So if I were to do this in the future, I would put the rice on early in the morning in the slow cooker like I am doing now and cook it with the meat for six hours or I would just cook the rice separately. And I kind of talk about it in the next clip, like what was happening. So I'll talk about that right here. Popping in here because a lot of my liquid has cooked out after I added the rice. So I have a cup of water here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water in here. About a half a cup first and see where we're at. Cause I just wanna make sure that this rice actually cooks up and it's kind of sticking to the crock pot so I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it I'm gonna add all the water in so a full cup and I think I'm gonna turn the heat up to high there's about 40 minutes left on the crock pot and I just want to make sure this cooks all the way Luckily, I was able to salvage this dinner by adding more water and cooking the rice longer, but I would recommend just cooking your rice on the side to ensure that it gets cooked through all the way and it's not that much extra work, but this was super delicious. And lastly, we're making cracked chicken sandwiches for this last recipe. This is so good and such a simple, easy weeknight dinner. You're gonna start by greasing your slow cooker with some cooking spray and add in your chicken breast. I'm not adding salt to this, only pepper, because we're gonna add in ranch seasoning. Looks like I also added some Kinder's um, seasoning here as well. So you're gonna add in one packet of ranch seasoning. I have the bulk container, so I'm just adding around two to three tablespoons to my chicken breast. Then you're gonna add an entire block of cream cheese. You could also add cheddar cheese to this as well. Then you'll pop your lid on and cook it on low for eight hours. You'll shred and mix up your chicken once it's cooked. And then you have to make bacon, you must for this recipe. So I like to cook my bacon on 400 degrees for 20 minutes in the oven and it always comes out perfect. And then your sandwiches are done. You just assemble and enjoy, super good and super easy. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoy these recipes. I hope you'll give some of them a try and I hope you all have the happiest fall. I love you guys so much and thank you so much again for supporting my channel. Make sure you hit that like button below, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.